quick introduction on LP Solve in R, which is a package that you can use for linear programming in R. Uh, linear programming itself is an area of uh, mathematics and operations research um, used, for example, in uh, scheduling problems, um, transportation problems. Um, it's an approach for solving linear problems um, and used in optimization. Um, in this example, I have a problem with uh, two optimization variables, x and y. And you can see the objective function is defined as 2x plus 3y. Um, also, there are some constraints. x and y cannot be negative, so there's a non-negativity constraint. And x plus y cannot be greater than 3, so there's some kind of capacity or, or upper limit constraint. Now, this is a... Uh, yeah, a linear problem uh, can uh, be stated also in mathematical form, um, which I did not do in this case, and it's, it's a very simple problem. Um, and we can solve um, problems like that using R, using the package LP solve, which is really a, a wrapper package uh, giving access to a solver um, through R. Um, yeah, so we have this free solver that is available and that we can use for both modeling and solving linear optimization problems. Um, and in this case, you can see I'm specifying some, some objects here. Um, I'm having a vector with the coefficients of the objective function. Um, I'm creating a constraint matrix. In this case, we have one constraint, so um, my constraint matrix um, will just have a one row will be a one row matrix will in other words be be a vector of some kind and um, we have directions that we need to specify um, for every constraint we need to specify a direction as a string in this case we only have one constraint so we have one direction we must specify in this case it's a smaller than or equal to constraint since x plus y cannot be greater than three and then we have a a last vector uh, which needs to be specified which will contain the constraint values and um, then we can use for solving a linear problem um, the LP function which is provided by the LP solve package and you can see here I'm providing it the values that we defined up here and I'm setting the problem to being a maximization problem by specifying this parameter um, and in this case, we will get a solution. The solution can be outputted and it will return the optimal objective function value um, calculated by the solver, this case being 9. And that makes uh, sense. If we look at the objective function up here, um, we have a very steep uh, rise in the objective value when y is increased and this increase in the objective function value is higher than if we would be increasing x now since x plus y cannot be greater than 3 it makes sense to use this capacity um, on setting y as high as possible in this case up to the upper limit of 3 returning an, op an optimal objective function value of 9 but you could also go about this um, using a ggplot, um, which is what I'm doing here. I'm providing the the constraint here as a as a red line, and then for um, for the optimal value of this problem, I'm providing the um, the objective, uh, or I'm, I'm providing a line here for the objective function itself. Now you can see if we look at this triangle here defined by the by the non-negativity constraints being here the vertical line of x equals zero which is the lower limit for x and then we have a horizontal line here um, which equals y equals zero which is the lower limit for, for y um, and if we look here at the red line which is really the constraint x plus y cannot be greater than three then we have a triangle here um, representing the feasible solution space. If we then look here at this green line representing the objective function in this two-dimensional space, um, 
or more particularly the objective function at the value of 9 then you can see there's really no way that this line can be moved any further out into the feasible solution space meaning there is no point um, returning a higher objective function value than the one up here in this upper corner um, so this was just a, a graphical uh, verification I provide down here um, the other explanation I already uh, provided here orally um, uh, which was based on the, the slopes uh, the slope of the objective function based on the optimization variables. I have provided a, a couple of videos uh, here on YouTube solving linear optimization problems um, using both OP Solve but also other packages in R and I'm also going to talk about uh, modules in Python that you can use for solving linear optimization problems with open source uh, solvers. In the description of the video, you can find a link to this um, brief coding example. And um, if you want to dig into it, it will help um, you get started with LP Solve and R.